when I was researching, um, I read that uh, like back in the seventies, you would host screenings um, for all these uh, when the when these guys were uh, young up and comers, guys like Peter Weir, Jillian Armstrong, Bruce Beresford, um, a top of oh, you were filming, you were screening their short films, yeah, um, and these guys were coming through the ranks. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Because I, I was fascinated to discover that. Well, you know, uh, you've grown up in a very different Australia in terms of movie making from the one I grew up in, because you take for granted that you can see Australian films and Australian stories delivered in the Australian accent. When I grew up, that was impossible. There was no Australian film industry to speak of. There are a few films that came and went, but they were mainly English productions, um, like Smiley Got a Gun or Robbery Under Arms. Um, but you know, we we didn't we didn't have a film industry. There was no economic need in a way to have one, um, because the Americans uh, uh, made and owned made the films, owned the cinemas, and those that they didn't own were owned by British interests. Australians also suffered from a dreadful disease at the time, uh, which is called the was called the cultural cringe. Yeah. It was a disease that grips a sufferer and convinces them when they look in the mirror that they needn't bother to make movies or to write plays or to write poetry, to write novels, that we're not good enough. The Brits can do it better and so why bother? Um, so uh, what am I where did I start this story? Yeah, okay, so we, baby boomers, um, we were determined to, to make movies and we started making them as sh uh, uh, making shorts we couldn't get them screened so we just set up our own cinemas uh, at the top of bookshops in um in, in in rooms at universities um wherever we could and we found that australians wanted to see themselves because australians were like babies looking in the mirror you know oh my god that's me wow <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. And, and so the, the short movies were, in, screenings were incredibly successful. We started with one cinema, one, one session a week, and pretty soon we had seven filmmaker cinemas running seven days a week and three sessions a day. They were all illegal, um, but the audience wanted to see themselves and look in that mirror and hear their voices. And it so happened that the people that screened their movies at the filmmakers' cinemas, went on to be what we call the the, the, the new wave of Australian uh, film directors: Peter Weir, Bruce Beresford, myself, Gillian Armstrong, um, George Miller, yeah. Paul Cox, um, and on and on and on.